In this tutorial video, we will discuss processing a termination via Kronos. We're going to go to the Show menu, Team tab, HR, HR Actions. Here you will see three tabs. The first one is Available. This is where you can begin the termination process. Open is for a termination that's in process but um, has not been completed. So this is if you started a termination process but you need to gather some more information, you can come back to it later, edit it, and then submit it. And then the Submitted tab is where you can check in and see if the Home Office has approved the termination and if it's been finalized. So we're going to go to the Available tab and at the bottom here we're going to select Start. Here's where you type in the employee's name. We're going to use test employee. Let's say that the effective date is today and hit continue. So again, it's going to ask you what the effective date and that's the uh, last day that the employee worked. Um, and here we have account status is active. So we want to go ahead and modify that and change that to terminated. Here it's asking you what the termination date. So in this case, it's today. Termination reason, there's several. In this case, we're going to say it's involuntary. And it's going to ask if there was a termination notice. So the person gave notice. If they gave notice, then you can put in the number one or two or whatever number you need. So let's say if it was two weeks notice, you put two there. And here you're going to select weeks, so that would be a two-week notice. If there was no notice, you select this checkbox here. And then enter in a simple note. And you can say um, failure to follow uh, company policy, let's say. And uh, the next one, security profile, we're going to change that. And we're going to type in terminated and select apply. What that does is it allows the former employee to access the system in order to download pay stubs, uh, W-2 information, but it will not allow them to claim any more hours um, past the termination date. We're going to select continue. Here it's just going to ask um, for you to verify that these are the managers and you go ahead and select continue. Benefit end date, uh, benefit coverage end date, you're going to put that toward the end of whatever month the person was terminated. So in this case, even though the employee was terminated today, we're going to put that toward the end of the month. Same thing for deduction end date here. COBRA qualifying event, in this case is termination of employment. COBRA qualifying event date would be the same as the termination date there. And we're going to hit continue. Direct deposit end date. Let's go ahead and set that out uh, two months in advance just to be on the safe side. So let's just put it all the way till the end of May. And you're going to select submit. And at this point, that information gets sent to the Home Office and all the different departments uh, verify their segment of it. And you'll be able to follow up here. You should also get an email letting you know that everything is completed. 